Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, well, I make skincare products and share with you guys my recipes. Today I'm going to be making a tightening blueberry serum. We're going to be making a batch of 20 grams. And we're starting with two ingredients, the first one being Yuxol PE 9010. That's our preservative, and we're going to be solubilizing it in some propendial. So Yuxol PE is only slightly soluble in water, so you need to mix it in with propendial first. So I started with 0.2 grams of the Uxol PE and then added in 0.8 grams of the propendial. You can also use vegetable glycerin instead of propendial if you would like. So mix those two together. And once they are combined, grab some blueberry fruit essence. So this is obviously where the serum gets its name. I'm using this fruit essence water, which has a light sense of blueberry to it. It doesn't smell like a fragrance oil. It's more of a natural fragrance. And I added in four grams of it. Then I went ahead and added in 12.6 grams of distilled water. So anyways, now it's time to add in our active ingredients, peptite and ragusense. So peptite functions as a skin tightener, which provides immediate tightening to the skin. It's been shown to protect human fibroblasts from oxidative stress, simultaneously increasing the formation of collagen, thereby promoting a long-term tightening effect through the strengthening of the skin's connective tissue. So this is obviously the key ingredient to make this a tightening serum. And I use 0.4 grams of the peptite. So next up is ragusense. This combats two major signs of skin aging by giving the skin a firmer and thicker appearance. It provides skin aging prevention for 25 and up and rejuvenating intense care for people 40 and up. And I added in 0.6 grams of the ragusense. So now I'm going to be adding in some blueberry seed oil and this acts as an emollient and is full of natural antioxidants and is high in essential omega-3 fatty acids. And I added in one gram of the blueberry oil. So next up I'm going to be adding in some hyaluronic acid and I'm using one with an ultra low molecular weight. The lower the molecular weight the better it penetrates the skin and hyaluronic acid helps hydrate and plump the skin. Our skin already naturally consists of hyaluronic acid but as we age we lose hyaluronic acid. So adding more into the skin can help create a more youthful appearance. And I added in 0.2 grams of the ultra low molecular weight hyaluronic acid. So last but not least is Cepamexin. This is our gelling ingredient and our emulsifying ingredient because I did add in a little bit of oil and obviously oil and water don't mix. So I added in 0.2 grams of the Cepamexin and you just want to let that ingredient and the hyaluronic acid ingredient sit on the top of your formulation for about eight hours. I let mine sit for around 24 hours. And when you come back, uncover your formulation and give everything a good mix and you'll notice everything is nice and gelled and emulsified. And now it's time to package our serum. I'm using this half ounce glass dropper bottle to store everything in. And I have a little bit of serum left over which is perfect because I wanted to test the pH. And if you guys would like to learn how to test the pH of your cosmetics, I'll link to a video down in the description box that shows you guys exactly how to do that. So as you can see, our pH is right around 5.28. I recommend you testing the pH of your serum you make as well because the peptite cannot be used in formulations anywhere below 5. Peptite needs to be anywhere between 5 to 7 and ragusins need to be anywhere between 3 to 8. So make sure you keep that in mind when formulating. Some ingredients have to be in specific pH levels in order to be active. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you decide to make it, let me know what you're gonna be adding into yours or how you're gonna customize it to suit your skin type. Also, if you're looking for substitutions, I actually have a blog over on my Patreon and I write blog posts that go along with every single video I post here on my channel. And I have written out directions on how to make this product along with the written out formulation. And I also give in-depth explanations on each ingredient and why I'm using them. And I also offer any possible substitutions for the ingredients that I'm using. So if you wanna check out my Patreon in the blog that's over there, I'll link down below to my Patreon. I also do two exclusive videos a month and some other extra content over there. So check that out if it sounds interesting to you guys. And last but not least, here's the formulation for the tightening blueberry serum. That way you can just scale this recipe to however much you wanna make. Remember, I made 20 grams in this video, but you can make however much you wanna make. Make sure you stick with smaller batches when you're making new products you never tried before because you don't wanna waste a bunch of ingredients in case you don't like it. Just because I like a product doesn't mean your skin's gonna like it. Anyways, let's move on to the Patreon shoutouts. At Stardust Bath and Body over on Instagram, 
Nature's Farm Girl at naturesfarmgirl.com, Kennedy's Essentials at kennedysessentials.net, Let's Blend at letsblend.bigcartel.com, Creative with Love at creativewithlove.me, Wallflower Wildflower at wallflowerwildflower.com, Heartfelt Beauty here on YouTube at sugared underscore pineapple over on Instagram, KAJ Bath and Body over on Etsy, Blue Mint Soaps at bluemintsoaps.com, Satara here on YouTube at Salt Air Label over on Instagram, Lenise Beauty at lenisebeauty.com, Ardrew Naturals at ardrewnaturals.com, sharkcitynaturals.com, sharkcitycbd.com, Ohana Lay at ohanalay.com, and at Danny Botanicals over on Instagram. And one more thing, if you guys didn't know, I do sell products myself over on Etsy. I'll have my Etsy shop linked down below along with all of my lovely patrons. And that brings us to the end of the video. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys next time. Later. I'm stuck in the motions. I've been consumed by the wrath of time like I'm I'm shattered in this life. I'm a